So we got more determining stuff. We're going to determine the rate of change of a linear relation from its graph. Well, rate of change, I'll just call R of C, is change independent that's independent, not, I'm going to rewrite that. In, and I'll put a big space, dependent over change in independent okay so so our a hot tub contains 1600 liters of water graph A represents the hot tub being filled at a constant rate Graph B represents the hot tub being emptied at a constant rate. So, let's look at this. How can we figure this out? What are we going to figure out? First thing, identify the dependent and independent. This, folks, should be a gimme. V, the vertical, is my dependent. T is my independent. Same with the next graph. V is my dependent, always on the vertical. Independent is always on the horizontal. So, rate of change is going to be, delta means change, delta V over delta T. So the rate of change is delta V over delta T. Well, how can we do that? This is a point that has dependent value, and so is this. So the difference, that distance, 800, is my change in V. So delta V equals 800. And then this way is my delta T. And that's going from 40 to 80. So that's 40. So delta T equals 40. So rate of change, R of C, is going to equal 800 over 40 which simplifies to 20. Is that right? Cancel out, yep. 20 liters per minute. And you can do that from any point. I can start here at zero, go up 800. So that's 800. Zero over to 40. 40. So I'm going up 800 over 40. That's all I have to do from a graph. Let's look at the other one. We're going the other direction, so see what happens here. If we start at this point, we're going down minus 800 over 20. Down 800 over 20. So R of C for this one is going to be equal to down 800. So negative 800 over positive 20. So negative 40 liters per minute. So what we end up from this, if we were to describe it, Graph A, we're filling a hot tub at a rate of 20 liters per minute. Then we're emptying the hot tub, and it's going to empty at a rate of 40 liters per minute. So the amount of water in there is going down until here, when it's at zero liters of water left. So rate of change from a graph should be pretty straightforward for now. We're going to get into probably well, a lot more rate of change as we move along.